Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to the collaborative that's hashtag Crafty Goals with Amalia. I hope you've been following along with us. It's been a lot of fun in a very challenging year. I had to laugh the other day. I said, I remember when 2020 came, and I was so tickled, and I said, oh, it's so much fun to say 2020. Uh, who was I kidding? <laughs> I'm sorry. It just, nothing has been easy about the year. You start off to do a little project and it turns into a project this big. The whole year just been one giant cluster. So anyhow, hopefully we're all going to get through it and everyone is going to be safe and healthy. But anyhow, let's get on with this. Um, there's a list of the clabbers down below. We have had a few drop out. Um, it is quite a commitment to try to stay on task, but for myself, I tried to set realistic goals, things that I wanted to do and accomplish without being so overwhelming and having to tick off a bunch of check boxes. That's not me. I'm more of the bigger picture type gal and hopefully, you know, I've been rocking them. So Check out the other clavers down below. We all do different things. We have different style, different interest, and we approach our YouTube in different ways as well. So check us out. You can follow along, like I said, at hashtag Crafty Goals with Amalia. She's our fearless leader. Or Crafty, excuse me, hashtag Crafty Goals with Elaine if you want to follow me and look up what I've done in the past. So here is my checklist. <clears throat> Um, my first goal um, was to finish my art studio she shed. I did. Um, I wanted to participate quarterly in the um, IO group ATC fun, which I'm finding out that may not be really the name of it anymore. But anyhow, I did it. I attend three retreats and host two here in the what I call the pine cone cabin is my art studio. I've done more than that. Um, unannounced giveaways. I've done. What I wanted to do, eh, don't know if I'll ever do another giveaway. Have to be honest about it. Um, I don't know. I don't even want to get into it. Um, two live videos this year. I don't have the best internet service. Um, I've tried. And I've also really been looking it up about doing live videos. And I don't know. I've heard and read more cons about it than I have pros. Some people love doing them and they have people that follow them. Um, the most of what I have heard is people don't like them because they you can't please everybody. You can't be there. Everyone can't be there live with you and nobody is going to sit through hours and hours later on if they can't partake with you. So I'm scratching that off my list. Um, this will be the last time you see it on my list. Timely complete projects started. Um, this month, some of the things that I've done, uh, not necessarily crafty, but if you followed me, you know that I've uh, put together an art studio slash she shed that I call the Pinecone Cabin. Um, I wanted to have TV in there where I could blow up YouTube. Or if I wanted to watch Netflix or whatever. So one of the projects I did is I put together a nice TV cart. Which was actually a kitchen island on Amazon. And it has storage up underneath. That's one of the things that I did. So I'm going to check off that I completed on the projects I started. Another thing that I did is if you've seen my videos. I had um, some shelf units on one side. I've actually added shelf units to the other side. And taken down some tables. So I definitely have more storage now. That I can walk up. And put my hands on things. I'm not digging up underneath of a table. So I definitely have been much better at that. Um, continue to use what I have. Most definitely. I've spent sure. But not very much. Very little. Um, staying organized, like I said, I just kind of redid one side of the um, she shed. And it's so funny because when I said to you, things happen in 2020, I'm putting one thing together and I've got this little cart tucked up against the thing that holds all my wooden stamps 
Well, it falls over. It breaks the wood on the thing that's holding the wooden stamps. It wants to come off the wall. I'm trying to hold it. Thank heavens a friend was here to help me get the stamps off of there before I got bonked in the head by any of them. Um, my weekly YouTube, been doing that um, every Tuesday about 6 p.m. Um, it goes up. And I do try to comment as much as possible when anybody leaves a comment to me. My comments have been down a little bit. I don't know if it's just the time of the year and things starting to get cool and everything. Um, but sure enough. Um, my monthly um, crafty goals here video, I, I've stayed on task with that. My last one I did schedule up for 6 p.m. rather than 3 p.m. But it was done. It just got scheduled wrong. I've been better with media, and I hope people have um, been seeing what I've been up to. Find at least two new YouTubers and subscribe monthly. The first YouTuber I want to talk about this month is called um, Crafty Fit. She um, also did the September recap with us on the goals, I noticed. And she does a little bit of all kinds of crafts. The next one that I want to talk to you about is Create Your Own Story by Renee Christine. She mostly does journals, but both of these YouTubers, um, you know, less than a thousand subscribers like me. And, you know, all of us little guys need some lovings. So if you would, reach out to them, look, you know, watch their videos, subscribe to them, and stay subscribed to them. It doesn't cost you a dang thing. So we appreciate that. So, yep. I have done that. And then watch all the collabers. I do my very best to watch everybody that is part of this collaborative. I made this little sheet at the beginning of the year so I can um, pencil off if I have to stop and, you know, something come up and I need to go back. I know where I left off. So that is basically my goals. Um, we were given the key words this month of appreciation, gratitude, and thankful. So I guess what I want to say is that I am thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for the ones that do come and comment and follow me. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful that I've been able to work all my life and have this beautiful studio now for when I do get to retire, if I ever get to retire, Lord have mercy. But anyhow, that is what I'm thankful for. And of course, my health and my family and my friends. And that I have been able to be safe this year. Um, virus free. Knock on plastic. So please reach out to us. And remember, follow along. We only have a couple more months left to go in this um, Goals Collaborative. And I do appreciate everyone. And please have a great Thanksgiving. I'll see you probably, I guess it's two weekends after that. Um, first weekend in December. And you have a great Thanksgiving. Remember, it's all about family and friends and loving and kindness. And behave yourselves. I'll catch you all down the road. Bye.